Um, sounds good. Another big story we're following. The Vermont Lake Monsters are changing ownership and leagues. The team's future has been an up in the air for more than a year now after Major League Baseball announced cuts to 40 minor league clubs in 2019. Today, the franchise announced it will be sold to an investment group, the No Samores Baseball Club, and join the Futures League. NBC5's Ken Drake is going to have more on this announcement tonight on the Sports Desk. But first, let's get to NBC5's Elena Barilla. She has reaction to this announcement today. Elena. Well, a common theme I've gotten from my conversations tonight, it doesn't seem to matter who's playing or who they're playing for. It doesn't change anything about the atmosphere of a good baseball game. Frida Tut has been hosting Vermont Lake Monsters players from all over the world for more than 25 years. It was a chance for me to give back to our community by helping, you know, these players along their journey. Last summer with the Lake Monsters season canceled, her house was pretty empty, but she's been hopeful about the game coming back. While the deal is not completely done, the Lake Monsters did say they would not have made the announcement about the new ownership if they didn't feel confident that it would be finalized. I have never even seen a college wood bat game. So I don't know what to expect, but I'm just excited that there will be baseball in Vermont this summer and that the Lake Monsters can continue to be such a positive um, force in our community. Colin Palouse is a pitcher in the Oakland A's organization, making a stop playing in Burlington in 2019. I think that's a great town for college kids to go, and I think they'll really enjoy it. I mean, if I was going there to play summer ball, I would have sign me up right away. He says the transition from minor leagues to the Futures League won't change anything about the joy of watching and playing baseball. I think they're still going to show up and come in big numbers and I think the atmosphere and the fans will still enjoy it and have a lot of fun. Burlington's Mayor Moreau Weinberger saying in part in a statement, we welcome the new ownership group and league to Burlington with the hope that this is the beginning of yet another great chapter of baseball in the Queen City. As far as what this means for Frida Tut as a host mother, she says she's excited to talk to host families of Futures League's players about their experiences. For now, we're live in Burlington, Elena Barilla, NBC5 News.